gotta be another way to get rid of him. You could always just marry him and drive him mad with your indecisiveness. Do what you want, drink till you have the nerve to go for it, then keep drinking so the inevitable rejection doesn't hurt so bad. There's no denying that Disenchantment Season 3 was a laugh out loud riot. And it's pretty clear why fans are very curious to learn why Disenchantment Season 4 will be making its way to our screens. According to some reports, Netflix has renewed the third and fourth season of Disenchantment back in October 2018, when the initial installment had premiered. So let's see the eight things to expect in Disenchantment Season 4. Number eight, release date. It's currently unclear when Netflix plans to release Disenchantment Season 4. However, it's worth noting that 13 months separated the first two installments. Unfortunately, the streaming network has not yet unveiled the release date for Disenchantment Season 4, and news on this matter could come out any day now. There's a good chance that fans can see more episodes of the Netflix original sometime towards the end of 2021, but it's probably more plausible to expect something in 2022 or 2023. But there's definitely going to be 10 episodes more in Disenchantment Season 4. Number 7. Season 3 Ending Alright, let's admit the Season 3 of Disenchantment ended in confusion, with most of the show's many subplots unresolved. In this, the Season 3 finale was similar to the Disenchantment Season 2 finale, with the added complication of the protagonist being separated and facing different cliffhangers. Season 3 opened where Season 2 ended, with Princess Bean, Elfo, and Lucy trying to solve the mystery of who attempted to assassinate King Zog and frame Bean for the crime. The trail led to the rival nation of Steamland, whose ruler, Alva Gunderson, seemed to have an infatuation with Bean. The season ended with Bean trying to build up Dreamland's defenses in anticipation of a retaliatory strike from Steamland, only to wind up facing entirely different enemies from within and without. Most season finales tend to be focused on resolving ongoing subplots and long-standing mysteries. The finale of Disenchantment Season 3 unironically defied this expectation, with most of the exposition coming in non sequiturs over the course of the season, and the finale only serving to introduce further complications. The end result was muddled, but some things were made apparent that were unclear about the bigger picture. Disenchantment Season 3 reviews have been mostly positive from the audience and critics. The season concluded with several cliffhangers. There is a royal mess that is to clean up Dreamland, with Beanie seems to have been temporarily left the building. The violent exit of a beloved character has surely left a lot of people wondering what will happen in Disenchantment Season 4. The third season has a rating of 7.3 on IMDb. In the upcoming season, there are plenty of themes and storylines to explore. It will be interesting to see how the makers take the story ahead in the Disenchantment Season 4. Number 6. Story Details Disenchantment Season 3 ends by establishing a heaven or hell theme for Disenchantment Season 4. The first setup involves an honorable act by Elfo, who sacrifices himself to the ogres so that the queen can focus on the greater good and not be conflicted about satisfying her tiny fan club. Then, Lucy is decapitated during an elevator accident after the inevitable return of Queen Dagmar, Sharon Horgan, being sorceress mother who escaped earlier in the season after being exposed for eating trog brains. In the final moments, Lucy, a demon, unironically finds himself in heaven, while Queen Dagmar takes Bean to actual hell and seemingly wants to team up with the devil. Meanwhile, King Zog remains in a figurative limbo upon arriving at Twinkletown Insane Asylum, and a rumored bloodline curse mostly goes unexplored. With Disenchantment Season 4, there's plenty of thematic material to explore. All the main characters are currently not available at Dreamland, and so there could be a type of uprising to establish a sense of order. Of course, the main conflict will center on Bean's decision making, and how she'll choose to deal with her immediate dilemma involving Queen Dagmar. Perhaps King Zog will return to Dreamland as a changed man in Disenchantment Season 4, and establish a new set of rules that will benefit a progressive woman like Bean. What do you think? Number 5. The Cast there's been no official announcement regarding who will make up the cast for Disenchantment Season 4. It's safe to assume that Abby Jackson, Nate Faxon, and Eric Andre, who voices Bean, Elfo, and Lucy, will most assuredly be in the lineup for the next installment of the Netflix original series. Other members of the talented roster of voice actors include John DiMaggio, Sharon Horgan, Tress McNeil, Billy West, Morris LaMarche, and so many more that will hopefully return as well. There will also likely be some new addition to the cast making Disenchantment Season 4 an even bigger must-see affair that fans will want to witness when it arrives. Number 4. Expectations As the first half of the season has only been released, it's a little too early to speculate over what may happen next. The first 10 episodes of the season have all been given unique titles, with the 10th episode called Bean Falls Down. From this, it sounds as if Bean is due to find herself in a sticky situation, which could mean a cliffhanger is due. The trailer for Part 3, which is out now, shows Bean falling out with her mother, and she discovers there are people in the kingdom who want her dead. She and her friends decide to leave the kingdom to find safety, and she stumbles across the leader of Steamland, voiced by the hilarious Richard Aoade. 
Fans commented on the trailer sharing their thoughts on the show's success with one saying, Kinda shocked Netflix didn't cancel this like they seem to cancel everything else I get into. Can't wait to watch. Another said, Glad Netflix didn't cancel. I'm hooked for proper life of the show. You don't want us angry. Back in 2018, the series was given a three-year renewal. And at one time, one fan said on Twitter, Disenchantment has been renewed through the next three years, which means that we're confirmed through season four of the show. If you haven't taken a look at it yet, now would be the time. Since then, the series has continued to receive critical acclaim, with Growing receiving praise for his versatile and ever-evolving vision. Number three, trailer. There is no trailer for Disenchantment season four, and it might be some time before Netflix comes out with any kind of teaser. It's safer to assume that a teaser will be dropped sometime much closer to the release date, which is still unknown at the time. As soon as the streaming service puts out any kind of preview for the next animated ordeal, we will make sure to share it with everyone right away. Number two, Untold Tales. There's a comic book called Untold Tales for those who can't wait for the release of season four. Unfortunately, a thread on Reddit suggests it isn't easy to gain a copy of it. As a Reddit user, Pirate Salamander wrote, those are the highlights from the book. Maybe here you'll find what you're looking for. One, it confirms that Miri's name is spelled Miri, and that's Mop Girl, as if we didn't all know. Two, Lucy is confirmed to be non-binary slash gender fluid. Bean asked him if guys is an okay pronoun for him, and he says it's complicated, but he identifies as an incubus fluid. But he does use he slash him pronouns. Three, Matt Growing references several characters in his foreword, including Ursula and Sky Gunderson. I suspect we haven't seen the last of them in the show. 4. Confirms that as the writing of the book, they've completed writing on 40 episodes, with more planned after that. 5. Sky Gunnarsson's full name is apparently Skybert. 6. There's two characters mentioned in the foreword called Sagatha and Snarla. I'm wondering if they've already shown up and are just characters we currently don't know the name to. 7. We see Lucy walking on all fours a delightful number of times. 8. Chaz shows up. Chaz is apparently normally spelled with two Z's, except when said with emphasis. 9. Elf sweat is like honey. It's not clear if this refers to both consistency and taste. 10. We see more of Dankmere. I love it. 11. Unanits. This is a wonderful bit of information. Number 1. What are trogs? Their trogs and their history remain largely enigmatic. Besides their seeming alliance to Dagmar, fans have posted different theories about who they are. Some fans believe that trogs are half human and half elf forced to dwell in darkness because this social taboo would make them pharaohs above ground. After all, their size and facial features strongly resemble the elven race. In addition, at the beginning of Season 3, Episode 1, one of the Trogs makes a point to specify there's a dash for the zero in their name. This distinction must serve as some sort of purpose, possibly conveying that these creatures are akin to royalty, such as King Zog, due to the similarity in their names. There are also theories that hypothesize that Elfo is part Trog himself, as details about his mother are still relatively unknown. If the superstition about Trog royalty is accurate, that would mean that Elfo also has royal blood. Regardless, he does not have obvious elf-like physical similarities with these creatures, especially the distinct kind of nose they share. Some fans have also pointed out that a purposely straightforward name like Elfo is suspicious within itself, as it's trying to camouflage deeper aspects of his identity. There's an array of avenues that can be taken with the Trogs, as magical creatures are staples of the sitcom's medieval fantasy nature. Are you waiting for Disenchantment Season 4? Let us know in the comments down below! Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us! If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up! See you in the next video! Thanks for watching!